Hey everyone, my name is Jason Yagoska and we're going to do, I'm here with Tao Yeager who will introduce herself in just a moment and um, we're going to do a speed run of the new parallel builds feature. Um, Tao, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Tao Yeager, I'm um, co-PM um, for continuous integration. Right, and I am the uh, product director for CICD. Um, so the first thing we need is the uh, docs for, um, for the parallel keyword. Um, here, or for the matrix keyword. All right, here it is. There's an example here as well. Um, I'm cheating a bit. I like to do speed runs blind, um, but uh, I've done one before, but I've only done one before, so it's semi blind. <laughs> um, and so the project name, uh, we can call this demo uh, matrix and uh, make a public project, initialize it with a readme. Then uh, what we need to do is add a uh, GitLab CI YAML. Um, and we want to just do something interesting that's kind of like this. Um, so um, what the matrix feature does is it lets you define a number of elements um, that interact with each other. So the classic example is like architectures and then like debug and release or whatever. Is there anything that you want to try, Tao, um, that we could get working? Uh, I, not really. I, I, I thought one of the things we would do on the speed run is also validate the documentation and use what they have there to make sure that at least is. Just or, copy paste this? Yeah. No, I would say that's more of like a test. Um, doing a speed okay. run is more like um, adapting it to some use that you have uh, in checking the documentation, but there's not much documentation to it. Actually. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't, I, I didn't have to. this example and then says, you know, just do the same thing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, so we can make an example that's just like, um, so a build, let's say we have a build, and then we have a test, and we have a, well, uh, let's just keep it simple. So, build, image, all time, um, it doesn't really matter what page you put it in, but we can put it in build. Uh, the script should do something. Um, I don't know, the indentation is a little weird here. I don't know why it's uh, doing it. I was going to ask you. Um, it's weird that you're editing a GitLab TI YAML and it's doing the wrong indentation. So maybe that's like an interaction bug that we could open an issue for. Um, yeah, and then so the script does need to do something. Um, so we could just say echo hello, <laughs> there's nothing. And then um, now we use the parallel keyword and then matrix. And here, <laughs> it's very annoying. <laughs> uh, here we um, can have all of our elements. So provider, stack, uh, each one of these things within the matrix is, is a variable that will get set. Uh, so uh, we could say, uh, target is one for us, and then maybe um, um, architecture uh, as an example. Uh, and then we could say, um, yeah, I think that's sufficient probably. Um, so the way you do this is you say, just add a colon and then an array afterwards. Uh, you could do this this way and list your architectures, um, but it's kind of nice to do it. Do it this way. Um, so we could say um, Windows, Linux, um, you know, oh, Linux platform maybe. Windows, Linux, um, LSX, Android. If we imagine that we've got some kind of um, you know mobile and web app, and then we could say for each of these we want uh, a debug and a release code. Um, so then what this should do, uh, and we can change this to be something a little bit more interesting. I go, I was going to uh, build a target uh, for platform. Uh, and then we can look at any of the builds and it will say, I was going to build debug for Linux or whatever. Um, so you would do, yeah, you would do this if you got some kind of like little combo like this. The way you had to do this before was create uh, a job for each of these. So you'd end up having, you know, there's like two times four. So you end up having eight jobs. Um, manually written here that you had to keep in sync and you'd probably use an anchor or something like that to have the boilerplate. Uh, but this just makes it uh, much easier. Um, so 
let's check, check our instructions one more time and make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, actually, I do have one thing wrong here. So each one of the matrix um, entries here in the array represents one combo. Um, so I shouldn't, I should have it like this. Um, and then I could have another combo here that's like another set. Um, so let's say we've got. Um, okay, so in the example, they had three combos. Yeah, they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's say another uh, platform is. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, something else. And then uh, that only supports having a released one. Um, so you could build your combo like this, and these should get added together. Um, so we should end up with debug and release Windows, debug and release Linux, and so on, and mm -hmm. then test release to something else. Um, yeah, and then it should generate these jobs. Can and you? That, um, yeah. yeah, I do want to try. So in the example, uh, instead of doing a uh, uh, a, a, an array, an array. They, yeah, they did. Um, yeah, should work. They indented, yeah. Because it's an array of one, uh, so that that should work. You're you're right. That's a simpler, simpler way to to. Oh, and you can do the same here actually. Also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anything else you want to try here? Mm, is is the reason in the example it's indented below, like say the last the last combo you there for platform because it has more than one, like uh, under stack monitoring API one API two uh, no, or app one app two? You could have written it this way also. Okay. And it's just showing that you can write it. Both of this is an array in YAML and this is an array in YAML, so they're they're just a, two equivalent ways to write the same thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Uh, hopefully we don't have some error. I usually do uh, when I try one of these things, but let's see. Uh, then we want to see the pipeline. Hey, uh, no YAML error, nice. And then if we look at this, uh, yeah, we have our nine. We see that uh, interaction bug here, uh, mm -hmm. where it's like, cut up, there's all of this white space down here for some reason. Yeah. Um, but that can be fixed, and it looks like they're all running and passing, which is as expected. Um, it's called build one of nine. I think that's actually wrong. Um, I was going to build debug for Windows. Yeah. Um, and presumably, you know, I, this will be some other random thing. I was going to build debug for Android. Yeah. So it's uh, it's getting the variables and, and seems to be showing them correctly. Uh, one thing that I'm seeing here that's a little different. It looks like for one, this retry button is in the wrong place. I think it's like up high, kind of off of the. I see. Yeah. It's looks like it's like yeah, a, and then actually if you go all the way to the top it's cut off even so it's uh it's too high for some reason it's a minor minor ux thing uh and the other thing is it's not showing the job name like this um or maybe this isn't implying that this is the job name uh i know that there's so i happen to know that there's a follow-up issue to make these job names more descriptive um but that's an issue with the documentation now uh if this is because it's only doing this part of the documentation there is a follow-up to add this part, mm -hmm. uh, but um, you know the documentation seems to be saying that it already exists, so maybe that's an issue with the documentation. And that's it. That's a speed run. Um, hey. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'll stop the recording. <laughs>